Hey guys, here I am with my Alienware M15 gaming laptop. I've actually performed quite a few upgrades to this laptop, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. What I want to do in this video is talk about the thermal repaste that I recently did to the CPU and the GPU. So I've did a CPU repaste many times in the past on desktop PCs where you've taken off the you take off the heat sink, you clean it up and then you repaste it. So you'll use thermal paste and you'll reapply the, the CPU paste. And a lot of the time this can correct a lot of issues that you've got with your CPU. You should get better performance, you should get you know better thermals, less noise. And that's what I wanted with this gaming laptop because when I bought this gaming laptop, the fans were kicking in all the time all the time. They were coming on very strongly, they were very noisy and yeah, it was it was quite annoying. So I was looking to, to address that with a thermal repaste. So the actual upgrade is very straightforward. You open up the, the back of the PC and you just have to take the heat sink off and then you will see the CPU and the GPU. You clean off all the previous thermal paste that was applied. Get all, the, all of that off, make sure it's all be taken away, and then you can reapply the, the thermal paste. Now, the thermal paste that I opted for is called the Fobia Nano Grease Extreme. There's a lot of people that disagree as to what is the best thermal paste to use, but I saw a lot of people recommending that one. Fairly cheap, it was like £11 or something like that at the time, it wasn't expensive. And you just put a blob of the thermal paste on the CPU and the GPU, and then you just put the, the heat sink back on put the, the case back on, screw everything back on, and then you can, well, you're good to go at that point. Now, I, I performed some tests before and after, and from a performance point of view, the 3D Mark score and the PC Mark score went up a couple of hundred points. So that's always good. It's always good to see performance increasing, and it shows that the repaste has worked. Now, those performance gains were kind of lost when I undervolted. I used an application called Throttle Stop, which allows me to basically decrease the amount of voltage which is sent to the CPU and the GPU. I really only applied the, the, the undervolt to the CPU, but what that means is that I'm still going to get a lot of performance, not as much as I could have without the undervolt, but I'm still gonna get a lot of performance, but by undervolting the CPU and dropping this, the CPU voltage down, I'm still going to get a lot of performance, but I was able to drop the voltage, which dropped the thermals because there's less power going through, there's less heat to cool down. So because of that, the fans went down as well. So where I am just now is that after the repaste and after the undervolt, I have basically got the same performance as before because I've lost the performance gains with the undervolt. But I was never, you know, I never had any problems with the performance of this. From a performance point of view, the CPU and the GPU on this was really good. I didn't have any problems with the performance. So I wasn't really caring about any of those performance gains being lost with the undervolt. The main problem was heat and noise. And with the combination of the repaste and the undervolt, I have dropped this down to, well, I've got it on just now and you shouldn't be able to hear it. It's pretty quiet when you're just, you know, browsing the web and you're using Photoshop and things like that, it is pretty quiet. Even when I'm gaming, unless the CPU is really being pushed hard, the noise on this isn't too bad. Now you can see here, the way I've got it here on a stand, I could buy a laptop cooler, it's something I might buy in the future. But generally speaking, if I get this off the table because the fans are at the underside, if I get it off the table, it remains cool and it's really not that noisy. In fact, this is how I've been streaming on my gaming channel. I was playing Call of Duty the other day through this laptop connected you know, to this PC set up here and you know, the fans weren't getting picked up. So, you know, if you run the CPU at 100%, if I'm doing video encoding or something, this will still get noisy, but that is true for any laptop out there. You know, you're gonna get noisy when you're pushing everything to 100%. So the whole experience was fairly uh, straightforward. You just have to make sure you get the right screwdriver kit, which I got. I'll do a separate review of this another time. But really uh, the process, is very simple. You just have to make sure you get the case off, take the heat sink off, just refer to your official manual, clean out the, the previous thermal paste and then apply the new thermal paste and you're good to go. It's something which I think a lot of people think is quite technical. It's not something that they should really tackle, but if you've got a laptop that you can take off the heat sink, you should be able to get improved uh, CPU and GPU performance with 
you know, a, a, a repaste because most of the time these computing companies are just using basic thermal paste. They're not using top of the line stuff and CPU paste, you know, GPU paste as well, you know, used for the same thing. Um, the, it's not expensive to buy. It's a relatively cheap upgrade, you know, just by spending like 10 bucks or so, you can improve the connection between the heat sink and the CPU. You can cool it better and you can get better performance. So it is something that I recommend some of you do or at least look into if you've got a laptop and the process of removing the heat sink and all that isn't too difficult because obviously certain laptops, you know, you know who you are, Apple, Microsoft, etc. Certain laptops like that aren't really designed to be tinkered with. But with a regular laptop, you should be able to remove the heat sink. You should be able to remove the previous thermal paste and then reapply newer thermal paste, which improves uh, the connection between the CPU and the heat sink. So you should get improved temperatures, less noise. It is something that I think a lot of you should look into if you've got a laptop, especially if your laptop is a few years old, because over time, the connection does, it does degrade. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.